<laughs> you can, I know, you can just say stuff. Anyway. Wow. Ready for our, our comedic uh, <laughs> intermission comedic? here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a little hilarious piece of news out of CODA. Uh, CODA is the, I'm, I'm going to call them the potential manufacturer. <laughs> of an all-electric sedan uh, that they're going to start selling in California by the end of... Well, they were going to end up sell it by the end of 2010, but that didn't happen. So instead of selling the car, they have come out and said that they will sell 50,000 of the cars, which they have not sold one of, by the end of 2015. <laughs> so 50,000 Codas through four years, divide by eight carry the two 12,500 codas a year that's a thousand cars a month so let's let's go back to our handy dandy list here of of <laughs> of uh Where hybrid that? sales that yeah. that's a strong th second right <laughs> that's a strong fifth in this current list yeah from a company that's currently producing zero cars. It would be towards the tail end of this list, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, am I just being an ass, or, or anyone else have any other thoughts? It could happen, right? It's possible. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> on, just say something supportive. Or say something not supportive. Linda has nothing maybe to say. Maybe we lost Linda, I don't know. She's quiet. She's I'm sorry. I'm talking. I'm on mute because I was coughing. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, it's a, it's a, it's an uninspiring looking car. I googled for other pictures, and you know, I, it's got to, it's got to inspire people. It's got to have some. Hey, I want to buy that in order to get those kind of numbers. I think. And if you put out a car that looks like a Corolla looked like ten years ago, I just don't think people are going to jump all over it. Thank you. That is exactly. Yeah. What to say it's this car already looks like it's from the 90s yeah nope that's perfect and it's forty five thousand dollars yeah no see that's not gonna it, it's got to look like like that oh i don't know the phoenix on that previous story you know that we didn't even talk about it's got to look like that or or something in yeah, it and you know why we didn't talk about it we didn't talk about it because it's not going to end up being a, <laughs> a real car. Well, no, exactly. Yeah. But if this if this uninspiring look is your concept, and you pare that down for your actual production, what the hell? Well, it, you know, it, if the car wasn't forty five thousand dollars <throat> or forty six or whatever it is, what is it? I need to go back here and see. What is it net down to? That's exactly what it looks like, Funky Moto, a nineteen ninety nine Civic. Yeah, it nets right. down to thirty-seven, so it's like forty-five grand. I mean, if this car was twenty-five thousand, uh, they could pull that off. You know what I mean? They they, they could get away with it for forty-five grand. Uh, I don't see that. I I just don't see it flying. For half that price, I can get a CRZ that at least looks good. Yeah, but it's not. Uh, it's not all electric, no. But you know, I've got twenty thousand dollars in my pocket. And I look good. Well, there's yeah, that. You can put a solar system on your house for right or something, you know. Well, let, let's look at you know what, if the car came out today, its direct competitor would be the Nissan Leaf, which, like I said last week, and I already said on this show, I, I don't if the if the Leaf cost more than the Coda, I would buy the Leaf because it's got the Mitsubishi name behind it. I mean, I'm sorry, the Nissan name behind it. Right. And it's a hatchback, which makes it a little more versatile. Right. And let's look at let's go back to our sales dashboard from last month. And let's look at the number of sales for the leaf last month. Sixty seven. Well, that's definitely a supply issue. I don't know that it would be much higher than that, but I mean that's definitely a supply issue. We know that because they, they haven't been shipping. Oh, and Coda won't have any issues with supply. <clears throat> I'm not I'm not <laughs> saying they won't, but I, I would. I really would like to know if the spigot was open on the Leaf, what it would sell. And we haven't seen that yet. There hasn't been a single month of that because Nissan hasn't been able to get its act together and ship the Leaf in any kind of quantity. So, and that's squarely in Nissan's 
without question, that's Nissan's fault. That that number would be a lot higher. If they, I think that number would be higher if they were shipping. How much higher? I don't know. Well, is the Volt a, a supply issue? Um, it had two hundred eighty one sales. I don't know. I I mean, are they making three hundred cars a month right now? I could kind of believe that actually. I, I don't know how many they're making. Has anybody seen Volts pile up on a lot yet? No, I've never seen one. Period. Yeah, I, I don't. Of course, I don't live in a state with it. <laughs> where they're shipping. I mean, I think both the Volt and the Leaf are in, I don't want to say intention, well, maybe intentionally constrained shipping issue. Well, Patrick says the Leaf will really start shipping in April and May. Yeah. But the Volt is a another topic entirely. You know, when I drive by the Chevy dealership and I see 10 Volts out front, I'll know that they're shipping as many as they can. <laughs> You know, I mean, that's just, that that's where I'm definitely going to go with a constrained supply issue. Yeah. But uh, I agree, this car is just, it's it's really boring. And the only thing cool about it is, is it, it's an EV made in the U.S. Right. Uh, otherwise, it's boring, it's ugly, it's expensive, and it doesn't even, it's not even like on lots yet. That's what it looks like, is the Geo Prism. Oh, oh I can see that too. That's mean. That's yeah. not mean, it's true. <laughs> if 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 it's true, that's uh that's awful. <laughs> I'm not sure I I see it. it yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> those were not those were not handsome cars. Well Russell, can you take us into the uh the next story? This is more up your alley, I think. What are you, what are you trying to say, Danny? <laughs> I, I'm not a science nerd. Oh, okay, science geeks. Um, and Gadget uh, had a story this week uh, that researchers have found flaws in uh, the neodymium uh, magnet crystalline structure. Uh, and so what does that mean? Uh, neodymium magnets uh, are rare earth magnets. They're used all over the place. But most notably, you will see them in electric generators and electric motors. Um, Researchers finding these flaws and thinking that there is a way that they may be able to increase the efficiency of these magnets by addressing those flaws and optimizing these magnets uh, may mean enormous gains in electrical generation and in motor efficiency. Um, this is probably something, you know, if it pans out, is something that we won't see effects from uh, you know, for a couple of years, but what it could mean is that for effectively the same price, you're going to see vehicles that are significantly uh, faster, more efficient, uh, and generate a lot more electricity, uh, re regenerative uh, electricity. So, again, increasing efficiency, increasing range uh, for what is effectively the same price. Um, it could be a huge, huge breakthrough. We'll have to see. So is this is this like? Uh, and it could make big twelve-inch woofers sound a lot louder. <laughs> <laughs> is this the equivalency <laughs> of like uh, us having the light bulb for two hundred years, and then finally we figure out, you know, we can make this thing a whole lot more efficient? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's like, yeah. I mean, I guess something like that. I think it's I think it's the equivalent of of people um you know taking herbs or using willow bark because it was getting rid of their headache and then you know medicine go goes in there you know scientific medicine and kind of isolates what the what the thing is that that's causing what compound in the substance is producing the uh the one it affects and then it just optimizes it and purifies it and then next thing you know we're uh we don't need willow bark for aspirin we're synthesizing it and it works very good i i think this will be science's chance to uh to optimize some of these things and make them work much more efficient for us that'll make for a very 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 strong and lightweight and powerful electric motor if they optimize this, uh, you know, this crystalline structure defect thing that they're talking about here. Yeah, I mean, imagine if 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 these electric motors and and motor generators weighed half as much as they do. It'd be amazing. And still generated the same torque and and generated the same electricity that they currently do. I mean, that it it 
it, it like has a ripple effect out and it could really be a huge impact on the way we do a lot of things and it's not even just limited to to vehicles i mean obviously mm-hmm. uh this could affect enormous range of electronic devices but um but for us because this is a vehicle show and that's what we talk about i mean i think that's it's an interesting idea and it's one of those things that you know hopefully we'll be able to look back to you know two years from now three years from now and say wow remember when the leaf only had you know a 70 mile range <laughs> no. I, I mean that would it'll, be cool it'll be like looking back at a hundred megabyte <laughs> hard drive and and just laughing right yeah. You know, because now we're we're dealing in terabytes, right? The... I, yeah, I I don't know if this is a if this is a a, a demonstration of Moore's law or not, but uh, it's it's certainly a uh, it, it's an interesting development. That it is. I will agree S- on that. So much for the science geek portion of today. <laughs> <laughs> as much as I understand about what you just said, does that I, agree. I mean? It, does it, am I making sense to anybody, or does that just seem like babble? No, I think it makes total sense. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what doesn't make sense, Russell? <laughs> what doesn't make sense to <laughs> Fuel I cells. Do. What doesn't make sense? Fuel cells. Fuel yeah. cells. Fuel cells are so... 